what to do when your kid fails a pace. So I guess not everybody fails a pace, but inevitably you usually have a student that fails a pace and it's so hard because making them redo that entire pace seems like extreme measures, especially if they just missed one section. But I wanna encourage you that not only does that keep them on track, but it also helps in a lot of areas. If they fail the pace because they were sloppy, then redoing the pace is an excellent reason to redo it because it gives them just the amazing ability to the next time go, oh, it's not worth it to be sloppy. If they failed the pace because they didn't understand a concept, then redoing the pace is exactly what they need to do. If they failed the pace for almost any reason, redoing the pace is gonna help them. So if you're homeschooled and you don't have a lot of extra paces on hand, um, I have the student erase the pace. I'll go back through and double erase the checkups or areas that they had a hard time. Sometimes I'll go through and I'll underline. If you could still see the underline and it's a multiple choice, I'll underline the other ones and then they have to circle the correct answer. So they're all underlined and they have to circle. But honestly, erasing the pace usually is almost worse punishment than actually doing the pace. If you're in a school or if you have several grades bought ahead of time, a lot of times you can take those paces and just give them a new one. Um, I've had several students that have redone a particularly difficult pace more than once and that's rough. But you know what, there's really good things and character building things that come from having a second chance. So if you think about how many times God gives us a second chance at different things that we do wrong, realize that you're teaching your kids that grace and that ability to change and fix. It's just this curriculum allows you to do that without having to say in Saxon math, that's what my kids do for math. If they had to redo that whole book, it would be just astronomical. So this way makes it a lot easier. Um, sorry, I'm at Sam's Club doing a food pickup, but I'm checking to see if my order's here or not. It might make you seem like a harsh parent, but it's really good and they will grow so much from that opportunity. It's just a really great time to encourage your kids and to just say, hey, you know what, I know that was a hard pace and I know redoing it is really rough, but let's try it one more time and let's see how we do it. And when you get to the pages that you don't understand, then we'll work on it together and we'll really focus on this a little bit better this time. And it gives you a chance to be encouraging and recognize that not everything in life is going to be super easy. But when there's something that's hard, we have to work harder on it. So there's just a couple of tips of how to do it. I know some people have them redo uh, just the checkups. A lot of times that doesn't let you learn what you did wrong. Like you're just fixing, um, so you're just getting a better test score. So. I would really encourage them to actually rework the exercises and practice a lot more on that and redoing the pace and making sure they know all of it rather than just that little portion. So that's my advice. I will say that the literature, not creative and writing literature, but the regular literature is the one that I do a little bit different. Um, I don't always have them redo that because they just read the book and answered the question. Sometimes I'll have them restudy for that and then retake it again just because I don't see a lot of benefit in reading the book and doing it as opposed to just studying for it again. So the literature paper booklet where they just fill out, I think that's seventh and eighth grade has that. So that's the only one that I have them do that. I think for ACE math, you would probably want them to redo the whole pace because they usually introduce one, maybe two concepts at a time in a, in a whole pace. And so if they failed the test, they probably just don't understand that concept.